entertainment capital of the world. biggest fans. Not only is Gooding an incredible songwriter, artist, and the owner of Kingdom 2, one of the most renowned music libraries out there, distributed by our mutual good friends and my longtime supporters, APM Music. But he's also the founder. He played freelance orchestras uh, and played solo recitals, but I also enjoy writing about creativity and joy and helping artists as a one-on-one -on -one coach uh, to connect. The passion really for me is helping people reconnect with their joy for creativity that maybe they haven't felt for, for decades, even if they've been doing this creative work um, for a long time. So my passions and my day jobs intersect as well. Thank you. And just saying, um, she studied oboe. She has a doctor of oboe performance. Folks, I mentioned that I'm gonna get uh, some people on camera to kind of give you their take on the production music conference, and I'm gonna work to try to do that. I think we can give a couple of people. 
and uh, the conference is going great. And a lot of you ask about what's the deal with the conference and what value does it have? And these folks are going to give you their own take on it. I really, you know, however many I get on camera. Um, and a lot of people say, ah, it's not worth going to. Well, you know, I look at it this way, and I said it before, the conference is not for everybody. But if you don't go at least once, you're not going to know. And yeah, and it is expensive for some, but you're investing in a business if you look at it that way. Now, not everybody looks at their music career as a business, and I get it. But in the production music business, it's a little bit different. You have to flip that switch sometimes if you want to do this. And whether you like it or not, if you're making a living at doing it, it's business. Folks, I can tell you it's a business. It's great. But conference is going great. Um, a lot of wonderful people. You know, you meet around the world. And uh, some of the uh, some of the people in this industry that have done some of the biggest things, and you're like, whoa, you've done what? You know, And you're sitting there at the bar or wherever or eating lunch at the table and you're talking to these people about anything about life and about general and just being human and that's what this conference is about so i uh i'm gonna do that and i want to want you to see you know i'm not trying to force people like you've got to go to the conference because you know going to this conference is not a be all end all of being in this industry it's not a prerequisite folks it's not but it's a great resource to move the needle and it has for me. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And uh, hope that helps you. And uh, these guys I put on camera, some of them, they have YouTube channels. You've seen them before. If you haven't, follow them, please do. Because I love to pass on the people that have helped me and inspire me still to this day. And uh, that's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Keep moving that needle, my friends. Let's do it. All right, folks. I've got one man that you need to be following on YouTube right here with me. Smart man, yes. And I said that I was going to turn the camera on and ask a couple of questions here. And then I'll get this man to state his name and his channel. And uh, We'll dive in. I'm, I'm Paul Curteau. They call me Polly. The channel is Yo Polly Music, at Yo Polly Music uh, on Instagram and on YouTube. And it's P-A-U-L-I-E, not Y. I should probably get an alias for that. But Yo Polly Music yeah. and also YoPollyMusic.com. Uh, and yeah, I've been doing this uh, business, the sync business, this music business for uh, probably eight, nine years now. I've been a musician for about 40 years, but uh, I'm old. And they say fat doesn't wrinkle. So uh, anyways, yeah, so I've been doing busy music for a long time. Got into sync about eight years or so ago. And uh, this is my second time at the PMC, Production Music Conference. Awesome. So, uh, you guys, you got to follow Polly because he gives you the good insights of the simples. So, like, people ask the questions about, like, you know, don't be caught up about whether you work a job or not. It doesn't no. matter. Nobody I got a full-time job, yeah. bro. Uh, yeah, nobody cares about that stuff. And that's the cool thing about it. But, Paul, what is the uh, one thing has benefited you about this conference and what value have you gotten out of it? Man, I, this is my second time here and, and uh, the Production Music Association is great for folks that really have a good understanding of the sync business. Um, there are benefits for folks brand new to the business, but I think this is more like high school versus college. This is a college level organization where there's a lot of seasoned professionals here. Uh, the conference is largely geared towards uh, library owners, music supervisors, etc., distributors, catalogs, things of that sort. But there are lots of composers here. Um, the sessions have been fantastic. Uh, I, I, to, I was telling Morgan McKnight uh, yesterday, she's the mm -hmm. main organizer here. Wonderful. Great content. We've, we're, right now, they just had a session on Europe. This morning was a session on Asia. But great content on AI. And, uh -huh. and 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 uh, the technology impacts of the industry, etc. Um, there's going to be a listening session later, but. The big thing about being successful in this industry is yes. networking and meeting people. Absolutely. People work with people that they like, and you, you make connections. I made uh, probably three or four new solid connections. I just walked away from a booth yep. of a company of a hip-hop label, and, yep. and I do some of that. So yep. uh, we had a great conversation there. I've met a few other peers as well that I've worked with for several years in the industry but had never met in person. Now I'm finally meeting them face-to-face. So yeah. the value here for me is the network, hanging out with folks you like, Absolutely. folks you enjoy hanging yeah, out with, sir. and um, it. it's, it's a blast. It's amazing. And I tell you, and Morgan's done a wonderful, every year she's done a great yeah, job absolutely. organizing this. But you know, AI is something we all consider an argument. We all have our takes. Like, the oh. other day it was so funny because <laughs> you said something, they're like, uh, we were at the, where were we at the table we're at the lunch. Table, yeah. At yeah. lunch, and you're uh, oh, like, said, oh boy, I, I we're going to get dove in. I went, Ricky, I went Ricky Gervais uh, on, on the topic. <laughs> yeah, he did. I'm a, I've been a tech guy for three plus decades, and so yeah. I'm kind of a contrarian, and yeah. I, I've got a lot of hot takes. If you go to my channel on YouTube, I've got several videos about the Watch AI, the lawsuits. I talk about what AI is. I talk about the 
abuse of the lawsuit. Yeah. And I take a slightly different approach because it's a very emotional topic. Music is very, very personal for Absolutely. almost everyone that does it. And so if there's this technology that can maybe harm your ability to deliver that or make it harder for you to find work, that's important. But you gotta approach it from an objective perspective, not an emotional one, yeah. and I try to do that. And like many things in the world, emotion gets in the way. Emotion is the enemy of critical thought. So try to approach things with a factual stance versus an emotional stance, you might have a better conversation. Hey, and, and more importantly, have the conversations. Don't get mad. Talk about stuff. Absolutely. That's how it is, Chris. That's right. Well, Paulie, man, I thank you, brother. I appreciate Just you. Follow this guy, man. He's wonderful. <laughs> you know, my little 300 and something subscribers, you know, but I, I like to pass on who these guys are. Such a great talent, and you are definitely oh, brother, one, brother. Chris, I appreciate it, man. Follow, hey, keep them watching. If you're not watching, click the like, click the subscribe, do all the social things, click the bell yes. to be heard. Follow, follow me. I'm just around 4,000 subs. I'm getting there. Yeah. I'd be happy Nowhere to get there. to 5,000, but I'm, I'm like, I do this. <laughs> I do this for the love of teaching folks. I'm not trying yeah. to make money at this. I just want to share my passion in music with those that want to learn as well. That's, so. that's the way it is, man. All right, cool. brother. All right, bro. Well, folks, I said it best. I was going to put some people on camera to see the value of this conference, and this is one of the men that you need to follow. This. Well, this thanks, guy Chris. right here is an incredible talent, and uh, I always say that uh, each year I want to put the camera in some people's faces and fear that they don't punch me in the mouth. I don't <laughs> think John would do that to me. I really no, don't. No, I'd lose that fight anyways. Yeah, Chris. so I'll me. state your name and your channel. And My name is John Meyer. Not John Mayer, if you spell it completely different. <laughs> I love it, yeah. John Meyer Music is my channel. It's pretty easy to find, but I have been a... I predate the PMC. I used to go to NAB and stand around and be awkward in conversations, and I, and I still am, but I've learned to kind of turn it on at these events and you know, yeah. shake everybody's hands. But, you know, the value is just showing up. I've been doing that for a long time. Every year, it's just part of what I do. I meet a lot of the same people, and it's just so much better than email, even if you have an awkward conversation with somebody. And the unique thing about this is even though there are a 1,000 people here, it's the largest it's ever been with people who are kind of important to this business and who are making the decisions worldwide are here and there are a lot of composers who have written thousands of thousands of tracks that you can sit next to at lunch and learn from and you know sometimes so many times i sit by and i'm i make a comment and they say well do you know so and so and they walk over and introduce you and you just can't beat that anywhere else so look it's la is expensive hotels are expensive it's time away from things but it's something that you know it's just it's just what i do yeah and it's uh you know i found uh, since 2016 since i've been coming you know it's funny because uh for years i would see you like that's that guy standing in the corner i didn't know he's got a youtube channel <laughs> i was like i gotta talk to him now you know but it's amazing how many people the majority of the people in this conference are willing to help yeah absolutely and it is cool so but john you're an amazing listen follow john meyer guys i tell you yeah, and uh john's got an amazing channel you inspired me of everything we did thanks I thank you buddy. appreciate it you bet all right folks this is a good friend of mine scott mitchell and i see him every year at the conference i've been seeing him since what, what 2017 was yeah. at the conference and mine was 2016 so scott i had one question for you and scott doesn't have a youtube channel but he's an incredible composer he does trailer work and he's wonderful what scott is the value of this conference to you and what does it bring to you what was the reason of your coming and what is it what value has it given you um mostly it's just making more friends in the music industry uh it's it's really great to uh, continue the chats and keep up with people I've been working with for years at this point. Um, but even meeting new publishers and libraries, uh, sync opportunities, um, it's really just a great crowd that you instantly connect with. Absolutely, no one's willing to help. Yeah. Absolutely, that's cool. Well, man, that's just one point out of many. And listen, Scott's an incredible composer. Those trailer stuff, and I consider him a great friend, so that's, that's, that's that, my friends. Alrighty, folks. Well, I got a got two or three people that got on to speak. I may get more. We'll see. Um, I think you'll you'll get a good idea of what the conference is like. It's pretty cool. But um, this year was the Hilton Universal here at Universal Studios, which is cool. And I'm not sure if I showed videos of of everything, but I'll uh, I'll show some video, man. Of, it's your freeway. It's your, that's your Hollywood freeway. That's so crazy. But this conference is in the middle of it all, you know. In fact, right in that building right there, I mentioned probably one of my last videos, I do music for a publisher in that building right there. Hadn't done music in a while for them, but uh, that's... And they don't even go to the conference. That's why I said the conference may not be for everybody, but but it's pretty cool. So, if you...
you can see the that's that Harry Potter castle. Man, there's a roller coaster over there, but that's Universal Studios theme park, and the studios are back there in the tour. And then you've got the City Plaza where we've been eating. We'll be going to actually, I'm heading to eat just a little bit there. I don't know exactly where we're going, but there's been about three restaurants I've hit there since I've been here. And you've got, of course, your mountains. Your Hollywood sign is way on the other side, way up that way. And there's downtown. If you've never been out here, it's interesting. It's crazy, that's for sure. And this is all your, uh, I forgot what they call it, but you get up the top crest of that mountain, there's a famous Mulholland Drive, it's over there. And you can go down that mountain that drops you off into Hollywood. I actually used to live right the other side, where's my finger, other side of that, over there in that area, drops down near uh, Franklin and Highland. It's called Hillcrest, it's the Highland Terrace. Pretty crazy. Contact libraries and the business yes. behind that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just a really fascinating thing that just happened organically. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's all right, folks, this is Morgan McKnight. She's the director for the PMA. Hi. And uh, Morgan, you do so, such a wonderful job every year. Listen, I thank you. Morgan does an incredible job at organizing this thing, and I think she's about ready to go to bed. Maybe. Because the conference is over, and you just knocked yourself out. You're really dead. But the question is, is uh, what, in your eyes, in the years that you've been running this, is probably the biggest takeaway for composers, the best value? Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I'm a little biased with my event, but I do see all of the deals that come out of this conference on a first-hand basis, so I would say that the uh, tangible opportunities that are here for you, and like I said, the deals that are here for you and waiting for you, are definitely your biggest takeaway, and it, it happens for so many composers that, that come visit us each year. So. And you know, I said it to somebody earlier, you know, this when I, my first one was 2016, I believe, and it was like... What was it, less than 130 people? And now it's like almost 500 or so? A you thousand. may know. A thousand. Oh, whoa. God, we were like thinking four or 500 people. No wonder. But it's amazing how many people are willing to help. Like you're sitting there talking to people that no matter how big they are, they've done the biggest things in the world, and you're just talking about life, and you're like, you've done what? Yeah. And it's incredible these people do that. You know? so, it is. It's a warm community, very helpful, very is. competitive, but still very helpful. And I think that's, you know, what drives the industry forward to be well, thank you again. Thank you. Morgan McKnight, my friends, get involved. PMA. PMA music.com, isn't it? PMA There it is, folks. <laughs> All right, thank you. Eating at Universal City Walk and Universal Studios again. This place is insane. It's like being in Times Square, but on the West Coast. So we're eating a place called the Chocolate Emporium, but it's not chocolate, it's burgers and shit. But I bet there is some chocolate here. I bet there is. <laughs> <laughs> I love this voodoo donuts. So I'm only having one, folks. This is nuts. Look at these donuts, would you? The voodoo doll. That is so funny. <laughs> I want one. folks this is my buddy Eddie Wall I see him every year and we can sit here all day and talk about everything he's done I can tell you right now it's amazing you know you're Thank you. I look for you as uh, one of those gurus I always trust I love you to death I see you every year man. it's Thank always you. great seeing you man but uh, Eddie uh, he works in the business I mean produce records TV promos commercials you name it I would go on but one thing I always wanted to ask him is what is your value of coming to this conference what do you get out of it I mean you come every year someone like you you work in this industry it's so much work some would say well you don't need to come to this conference why would you what, well, yeah I mean it's good to just get out of the studio it's good to see other people and yeah. talk about what they're doing and just see how to gauge it what you're doing and yeah. meet people that you know write for the libraries and own libraries and just get out of the studio and yeah just you know, sort of talk about the business in general. Yeah, like, I mean, so, I even mean, you I, need to always know what's going on. Yeah, but I never come out, like, with an agenda. It's always like, I want to see my friend, I want to see you, yeah. I want to see my friends, I want to Precisely. just hang out. Yeah. It's more, to me, it's this is way more of a social event than a business event for me. Yeah. And yes, I had a very productive uh, BMC this year. I met a lot of people from some companies I've never worked for before, and mm -hmm. I was 
so I might, but for the most part, just like hanging out. That's what it's all about, fun. man. Yeah, you learn some stuff, you hang out. I've been coming since 2016, and I've known you since 2018, maybe. Maybe, it's yeah. Funny when you and Joy sat me down for that one thing. We can talk about later, but um, but yeah, that's a lot of people. This conference is not for everybody. It no. really isn't. No, because it's it's the kind of thing where you know people come with expectations, like oh, I'm gonna meet these people and get my music placed and make all this money and then they'll come out here and we get a chance to talk to anybody and they'll feel like they wasted their time. And yeah. Like it's a working conference, but you know, as I told Morgan McKnight and I told a lot of people is that it's amazing how many people are willing to help. And that was one thing about Eddie, man, that I've always loved. And it, we may, you may never, I may never do music with him. I may, you never know. I may get a call oh, one day. Yeah. I may get a call one day say, hey, I know you do this. What if, you know, you know, with Pete, I write a lot of music with Pete, and you've been tight with Pete for many a years. You may never do music with somebody, but you build a rapport with them. It's almost a friendship. Like I come here every year. There are lots of people, you like, including yeah. you. We've never worked together, but we're yeah. still friends. Yeah, it's not like coming out to one of these things and being friends with people. Yeah, just because you work with them or whatever. It's, yeah, people are really friends with people, which yeah. is really cool. It has nothing to do with. We could all give up our instruments tomorrow, and we yeah. have our friends. And we're sitting here talking to people that have probably done the biggest things in the world, and you're talking about life, like we were with yeah. with Stacy the other day. You know, look exactly. what she's done and her exactly. husband. And we're talking about the craziest things, and then mix with music, you really don't know what they've done. But they're, at the end of the day, we're all human, man. Exactly. That's what it's all about. So, that is. Eddie Wall, guys, this man is loving to death. Thank you, Eddie. It blows my mind how many people walk up to a gate so late and miss their flights. It's like four people in a row at the gate by where I'm getting on. And that's why I was here at LAX three hours early because I'm telling you, you don't know what obstacles, especially in a city this big, you don't know how, what kind of obstacles you're gonna run into with traffic or anything else. You know, things shit happens, man, I'll tell you it does. But uh, as you guys have noticed, uh, this was a very productive conference, and I think you've seen some of the uh, some of the insight you get from some of the people who have attended. Some pretty uh, a couple of these guys, pretty big in this industry, and some that are very active and not as big as others. But it doesn't matter because we're all one common goal, as you know, about this conference. Um, we're all in it, and it's amazing how many people, I can't stress this anymore, are able to help each other. And the conference does have value, it does. And like I say, it's not for everybody. Now, <clears throat> Eddie Wall had his reasons why it wasn't for everybody, but it's not for everybody in the sense that you may not feel you need to go, and that's okay. You can still work in this business even if you don't go. But I will tell you, the virtual panels are good for the ticket each year if you decide to do that, because what that does is it keeps you up to date with what's going on in the industry and changes. I encourage that because they, you know, they talk a lot of things that everybody fears, AI and all that stuff. So, but guys, the production music conference. That's uh, the, the best I could do this year to capture it. And someone told me at the conference, they said, you know, I've never, you were the first guy that really kind of shed some light on it. There was a couple of people, but you don't hear a lot of people talking about it on the internet. And I wanted to kind of go deep on this and, as I could and, and maybe talk about it. Uh, John Meyer and I know Pauly, they do a good job at that. And I, John had his camera. I know John is, he's got some footage from it and follow those guys. And uh, their channel names, as you see, are, or listed pause the video go if you have any questions chime in like if i miss something and you can't find these guys i you know i'll answer you i'll get you the information um a couple of them don't have youtube channels they don't have time or some just don't and that's okay but anyway <clears throat> other than that all is well i'm just waiting on i don't get home till eight o'clock tonight uh the hurricane's gone through thank goodness there's not gonna be any delays to charleston south carolina from the hurricane that storm, uh, I looked at my cameras at my house, and there's one sizable limb at the front of my property that's down, but other than that, hopefully we're okay. It's what I don't see that worries me, but I think we're good. I think my neighbor would have called me if it was serious. But other than that, you guys, I appreciate you for watching. And as everyone else says, like and subscribe, man. I appreciate you guys for watching so much. And, uh, I really am going to get on. I think I want to talk. I've been thinking a lot at the conference about things I'd like to get on and talk about. And, and I'm not the be-all, end-all. I'm not one of these gurus that just started and thinks they know everything or trying to 
do a course, and I'm not being mean when I say that, but there's some guys that should just concentrate on the, bit, the industry and and concentrate on learning and doing more music. And if they feel later they're at a point of doing a course, that'd be fine. But but that's okay. Everybody's different. Do what you want to do. It's all good. Just make sure that I, anybody who's watching this who does offer a course, please, whatever you do, make sure that you're passing on the right information. That was a big conversation at the big talks at the conference that people are giving misinformation about the you know sync licensing in a production music industry and it is so imperative that you get good information good education to people that want to get in this because there's so many talented people that are led down rabbit holes bad ones and i may talk about that later too so and you know get involved with people that are misleading you and doing things you may not know they're doing and you'll never know unless someone sheds light on it for you you know it's crazy it really is but anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one and uh until then be cool and i do love to say this sometimes and as I always do anything cool comes along you know i'll cut you in be cool bye